Hi, this is Dr. Desmond Wai, gastroenterologist and hepatologist at the Mount Elizabeth Novena and Farapa Hospital. Today I want to talk about hepatitis B carrier losing the hepatitis B service antigen. Can a happy carrier for many many years become a non-carrier? How can you what can you do to achieve that? And what are the implications? You want to hear? Continue listening. So I have just saw this patient, his name is uh, Joe, okay? Joe had been a hepatitis B carrier. He saw me for hepatitis B. And as you know, for hepatitis B people, we see them every six months to do a scan and do some lab tests. So the last test in August 2021, we found that Joe suddenly lost the HBS antigen, hepatitis B service antigen. Now we define happy carrier as having a positive happy antigen six months apart. For the first time in his life, now the S antigen become negative in August 2021. So now it's February, we repeated another lab test and the service antigen is still negative. In other words, he had positive hepatitis B service antigen in the past, but now he had two negative hepatitis B service antigen. So it means that he had cleared the service antigen. In fact, he developed an antibody against hepatitis B. In medical term, we call it HBS antigen zero conversion. Now, because we we say we call happy carrier happy carrier because they carry the S antigen. Now, when he had cleared the S antigen on two separate locations, six months apart, he become a non-carrier. So it is a success for him. It's, I told him that it's almost like buying lottery because this event happened less than one per hundred every year. We know that hepatitis B can lead to cancer and liver hardening. So now when he's not a happy carrier, his risk of getting into cirrhosis or cancer is markedly reduced. We dare not say the risk dropped to zero, but the, the risk is much less. As a matter of fact, we don't even need to ask him to come back every six months for blood and a scan. What we believe is that his immune system had woken up and had cleared the hepatitis B surface antigen, so he's no longer a carrier. So uh, what does it mean? First, he does have, he does have to see me every six months for blood and scan. And secondly, his risk of getting cirrhosis and cancer is markedly reduced. So the, what are the implications? So I always told them there are several things they need to remember. Even though he had cleared the surface antigen and then we can't find the antigen in the blood, if we use a very sensitive method, we can still find the hepatitis B uh, virus in his white blood cells in the liver. So he shouldn't donate any organ like uh, blood, like the liver, not even uh, other organ like lung or heart, okay? Uh, because all these organs, as long as they have some white blood cell circulating in the circulation, they may still contain a bit of the viruses. As a matter of fact, people like Joe, they have cleared the service antigen. If they donate liver to another patient, the patient that got the liver from them can develop a hepatitis B flare. So we know that now when we test people for organ donation, we will test for other markers more than the S antigen. So number one, I told Joe you shouldn't uh, donate blood or organ. Number two, because the virus still lives in his liver and the white blood cell in minute amount, if his immune system is weakened, the viruses can come up. So I told Joe that you shouldn't be, uh, uh, you be very careful. If one day you need to take any medication that can weaken your immune system like chemotherapy, or a steroid, the happy virus may flare up. So if he somehow develops some form of cancer or some form of immune problem that he needs to take either steroid or a chemotherapy drugs, he has to tell the doctor that he had past exposure to happy and he should come back and see me or see another liver specialist. So the last but not least, uh, uh, because he's not a happy carer and the risk of progression is much less, I wrote a memo for him to state all this and I say that um, he's not a happy carrier, he doesn't need regular follow-up. The risk of him getting liver complication is markedly reduced. And uh, he can use the memo to talk to his insurance agent and maybe upgrade his insurance to a better plan without the exclusion of hepatitis B. So to sum up, hepatitis B S antigen loss or hepatitis B S antigen zero conversion is a good thing, it's a bonus. It's almost like uh, winning a lottery. Many good things happen, the risk of problem reduced, but they do have a few things that they need to be aware, particularly if they take chemotherapy or steroid, they need to come and see me or other liver specialists, and they should not go to donate the blood and the liver. This is Dr. Desmond White. Thank you for listening.